all the aggravation that it possesses. The love never cherishes. You must realize in your soul and your heart that the tragedy that you have day by day, the miseries that create hate within your system, can be administered with help if you just pray and ask Spirit for help. You'd be amazed at the things that we can find in Spirit. I've been blessed many times in various places I have served. Thank God. And I've been fortunately able to help the police force <coughs> find someone they were looking for. Unfortunately, they were gone. But retribution for that took place. Know, my dear friends, that you have a lot of room to gather your thoughts and things. Don't let my items bother you. Don't let little hanging waste stuff, what they call it, get in your way. Be who you are and know that you face life as it is. We all can't be rich, we all can't be poor. We have to grab ourselves for what we have, be thankful for what we have, and be grateful to God as I am. In my age, the way I still feel, and able to move and go and do. And I thank God every day. Matter of fact, every minute I'm up. <laughs> Why not? For what he has given me and given it up me. And so you must think of the things that you want in life. I know we all have been bothered by certain tragedies. People, too, that might mistreat us. Thoughts and things, whatever, vicious ways that come around. But we're right now living in a world, as you well know, that needs all the attention we can give it. That needs love, compassion, that needs help so we can join hands together regardless of who you are. God loves us all. God protects us all. He is the keeper of the foundation. And once you believe, and once you have that thought within yourself, then Nothing can bother you. Nothing will harm you. Your spirit will be redeemed. And you will start off in a different light. <coughs> Think twice before you do something that might offend somebody. Because nine times out of ten, Something's going to happen possibly down the road for you as well. So give out thoughts that are good. Thoughts that can be used for care and love and compassion. These are the things that God would have us do. And you say, well, what do you mean, spirit? What do you mean? What do you mean by spirit? What do I mean? The medium. The ghost area. You get them on television, don't you? <laughs> and how many other stuff? They're getting more and more and more. To know 
that there is spirit and something beyond this world we live in. And those shows are laughing, those shows are heard with respect. And that's what we want is respect. And we call the spirit, well, as she said a minute ago, many, many years, spirit is always a piece of I would hope today that you would find in your heart to make amends for anything that you feel that you have done that might need to be patched up or overlooked or taken care of. Times of the essence. People come and go. Life goes on. I might come back someday, who knows, with a butcher, who knows? You cut meat. If they do that, then the way the world is going, you know what they're going to do. We're making progress in a lot of ways, as you can see. And that's what it's all about, is making progress, making things work, making things done. Open up your heart. Each one of you will actually. Either one of you. It doesn't make any difference which one. I know a lot of you have heard spirit or felt something or looked around. What is that? What is that? I know you have experienced that. It's spirit. Say hi.
so each pastor that comes in our door, regardless of who it is, can feel that instinct, can feel that emotion, can feel that givenness and love, faith, as the Lord of preached very good. And so I say to all of you again today, be kind to one another. Be very different.